see everybody, even if it's in little squares. <laughs> All righty, let's lead it off with Tony Gerdeman from Buckeye School. Hey, Tony. Hey, Kerry, uh, sounds like you're doing pretty well for today. I can't imagine to be doing any better. Come on, man. It doesn't get any better than this. But you know what? Before you ask a question, I just want to wish our basketball team good luck today at 3 o'clock. I loved watching them last week in the tournament. I thought the way they played and intensity and, and they were aggressive. You know, I, I just really enjoyed watching them play. I think you're going to have a great run. It was, it, was, it was really exciting. So good luck to those guys today. Thanks, Tony. Go ahead and fire away. Buddy. Yeah, we talked to Ryan on Wednesday. He mentioned how Lathan Ransom stepped up last year and it sure seems like he's going to have a big say in what this defense does this year. And I'm just wondering, where is he? Is he, is he your deep safety? Like, what do you envision from him this year? Yeah, he'll be playing a cover safety role primarily. Uh, if we get, you know, the, the key, Tony, for us is, is everybody healthy and is everybody ready to go when the foot hits the ball for the first game? So we know that we won't have everybody uh, in the spring, but we're certainly making plans for that. And so right now, Lathan is, is playing – in that cover safety spot, but he will also have some roles in some other areas in the back end. Now, when you say cover, is that the is that the deep safety or is that the the? No, no that would be the guy in the slot. Okay, that's where he played. Understand. Where he played last year when he played uh, on third down and those kind of. Gotcha. Spots. Perfect. Thank you. Right, we'll sure. Go next to uh, Bryn Gulick. My guy is now on SI. Hi, Kerry. Nice to see you again. Good to see you. Hey, uh, I want to ask you about Zach Harrison because Coach Day had spoken quite a bit about how he was um, impressed with Zach's uh, emerging leadership. Um, he said that Thayer and, and Zach probably stood out more than anybody else. He was less surprised by Thayer, but maybe a little bit more surprised by the way that Zach Harrison had really stepped up uh, throughout the last few weeks. Can you give us an idea of, of your perspective of the way that he's, uh, you know, he's impressed you and, and maybe what, uh, what you're expecting from him this spring? Yeah, it's a great. It's a great question, and it's absolutely the truth. Uh, you know, he had a phenomenal uh, seven weeks in the weight room, not just taking care of his business and his body, but making sure that he's holding others accountable. Uh, it's really important, uh, I think, especially uh, for younger players uh, to see guys who are are great athletes that are also great workers. And I think when your best players are your hardest workers, you got a chance to be good. And so we, you know, we had some of those guys that aren't here anymore that were those type of players. And Zach stepped right in, filled that void, and uh, was very, very impressive uh, with his leadership. And uh, he's excited for the season, and I'm really excited to watch him play. All righty. We'll go next to Bill Rabinowitz, Columbus Dispatch. Hi, Hi Gary. Bill. How are you? How's your ping pong game, Bill? <laughs> Ever played. Ever played. Um, we haven't talked to you since the Alabama game, and hate to bring up a, a bad memory, but how uh, far we, What's that? I said, then don't. Well, got it. Uh, you really hate to, Bill. Don't bring it up. I mean, you know, you get to choose. Well, I have to ask. Uh, <laughs> what was that like for you in the aftermath of that? And did that – I asked Ryan this question uh, a while ago. You guys have been able to, to have the success that you've had uh, because you guys are really talented and you have a good scheme. But Alabama was – and some of that was, that's a great Alabama team. Did it make you reassess anything about your defensive scheme or philosophy because of the way that they were able to attack you? Um, and, and just, you know, how much of a, how, how hard was that whole thing? Well, it was incredibly painful. Uh, I, I think the, the thing that, uh, I don't know how to say it, the, the, the journey that our kids were on to get to that game was phenomenal. We try for people to reflect on that. If you were in this building and you had Thanksgiving dinner in the indoor and you had Christmas day in the indoor and you showed up every day, not sure who was going to be able to practice or coach and everything was being shuffled all the time and games were canceled and all the uncertainty, the season was canceled. Then it was on and guys opt out, guys opt back. Just the entirety of the season. And with, you know, without going back through that, but being on that journey and being able to get to that last game was truly remarkable. And then, I, you know, I, I feel very responsible that we didn't play our best in that environment. And, I, and you guys, you know, I want to make sure I say, we didn't play our best. That's on, that's on me. That's, the, that's my job. And, uh, and so it was, it was very painful. And it, it, was, uh, it, it, was, it was awful. And uh, that hadn't happened to us very much here. You know, it, it just doesn't. 
and and you try and work so hard, you pour everything you have into it. The kids poured everything they have into getting to that point. You want to you want to be at your best, and, and obviously we weren't. And so uh, you know that was very, that was very hard. I don't know if anybody who says it wasn't hard doesn't care. Uh, and and then yeah, it makes you rethink uh, how you do things. And and there's there's no question that this entire off season has been a, a, a great process of exactly that. Uh, rethinking uh, how we do things and how we're going to do things uh, in the future. Is there, is there anything you can say about how the defense might change as a result? Nope. Okay. All Pre right. <laughs> well, I mean, really, why would I? <laughs> I love you, Bill, but why would I? <laughs> All righty. We'll go next to Nathan Barrett from Cleveland. Kerry, what do you need to see out of the young cornerbacks, uh, either the returning freshmen or the new arrivals, that, especially those who are coming back, that you couldn't observe last year or, or didn't get really a chance to evaluate with them last year? Yeah, we, we need to be able to play press man-to-man. -man. Uh, we need to be able to do it over and over and over again, and we need to be do it, able to do it successfully. Uh, we, we, you go back, we went through, I watched every period of individual from the entire season last year, and we only got – seven sessions of real one-on-ones uh, in the course of a year. And that's, that's very challenging, right? That's that, that in order to be able to do that job, you got to practice it over and over again. So we got that in today, you know, we got started with that. And so that, that was great. It was awesome. We're going to get so many more opportunities and the kids that are here and the kids that are coming. Uh, that's my expectation. That's, we got to learn it. We got to play it and we got to be, we got to be really good at it. All righty. Let's go next to Austin Ward from Letterman Row. Austin. Hey, Kerry. Hey, Austin. How you doing? Awesome. Um, Thank you. When you look back at last year, and, and you've talked a lot about owning the responsibility and that it wasn't to the standard, when you look back on it, I know there are a ton of factors that went into it, from missing spring, injuries, COVID, the individual periods you just talked about. What do you, when you looked at it as a coach, what did you think was the biggest challenge to overcome? What, what caused this in your mind more than anything else? Yeah, I would say all of the above. And I, and I, I also think, Austin, it's important to recognize we won all the games but one and uh, got farther than we had uh, the year before. We got to the championship game. Now, I'm not saying that we would be – I can tell you this. We get to the championship game again, we'd be really happy. And, and uh, sometimes in, in situations you can get too caught up in, in uh, numbers and those kind of things that the, the number that matters is victories. And uh, there were a lot of things that – I mean, we were third in the – country and turnover ratio. You know, there were a lot of things that we did well. We just have to do other things better. And so, um, you know, I, 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 I think, I don't know, I think, did you ask me if there's one single thing? I, I just I just maybe if there was one thing in, in your mind more than others, because I, I know there yeah. are a bunch of factors. Yeah, you know, to me, I think just more than anything, having a practice with the whole team there is is really the biggest thing. And if we can get to that point, uh, consistently, uh, I, I, I really like this team. Thanks, Gary. Sure. All right. We'll go next to Dan Hope from 11 Warriors. Dan. Hey, Kerry. Hey, Dan. Uh, last year, I remember asking you after the uh, shutdown about, you know, installing during the spring, and you said you didn't want to do a lot of that when the players weren't there. How much did that impact what you were able to do schematically last season, and how much does – having a full spring allow you to do more this year? Uh, significantly on both fronts. You, you can't, you know, I've, I've done this Zoom and, and, and I love it. I love the fact that we're able to do it. It was a great answer for the situation, but the reality is that that's not real teaching now. That, that's not, it's, it's very hard to, to teach in the manner which we do with direct teaching and, and back and forth feedback from the players and communication and to be able to do that in this environment. We all know there's a pause, right? And you guys got a cell phone on your desk and you peek at that and you, we shouldn't expect that our players are any different than, than you guys are. And, and so for me, uh, being able to see, look them in the eye and then do it on the field, you know, that's the thing you miss. And, and uh, I think that, that those opportunities, in addition to which, having Coach Marotti be able to work with guys uh, in all of this off-season time makes significant difference in their body. So it's not just the scheme, but it's also their conditioning level, their ability to be in shape when we hit the field uh, in the fall. But this opportunity for us 
to install what we want to install and get practiced at it and find out what we can do and what we can't do in the package is important. It's critical. All righty, we'll uh, go next to Bill Landis from The Athletic. Bill. Kerry, uh, going back to what you were saying a few questions ago about, about teaching these young guys to play press man and you didn't get those opportunities last year. I'm wondering, with this defense in particular, that the, the base that you all play, just how much more difficult it is when maybe you don't feel as comfortable playing man coverage and then you have to rely a lot on cover three and maybe offenses can't anticipate that. How much more difficult does that make your life? And then maybe combined with that, do you guys need to add some more split safety coverages to this package thing you had last year? Uh, I think your, your perceptive, Bill, and I appreciate uh, that. I think that if it, we're going to hang our hat, our first pitch, if we're standing on a mound, we're throwing man to man. Now we got to be able to play it, right? That's our fastball. That's what we got to be able to do, and uh, and so we've got to be able to to play that, and then everything else kind of bleeds off of that. And so, how much three deep, how much split safety, how much of anything else we play, kind of has to bleed off our ability uh, to play man to man, and we have to be able to do that. Or then, if we can't, then we have to change what we do. But but I think we got the guys that can do it, and, and, and I like our chances. All righty. We got uh, Thayer and uh, Zach ready for you. So this will be the last question for Coach. We'll go to Joey Kaufman from the dispatch. Hey, Gary, just wanted to ask about the, the safety spot, with, especially with Marcus Hooker uh, being out to, to start camp. Uh, how do you, I guess, see that, that, that free safety spot? Uh, Josh Proctor lined up there today. Uh, he, he, he played extremely well and, uh, and is going to play really well. And, and Bryson Shaw stepped right in behind him. And we have a uh, young freshman that played there, a kid who's a, you know, a high school senior. Uh, Jansen Dunn stepped in there today. We're going to be versatile. We're going we're gonna to have some guys that are going to be able to do more than one job in the back end. We're going to have to. That's one thing COVID taught you, right? You got to have guys that can do it. Well, same thing's true if injuries or anything else arise. So, uh, but Proc went out there and played it, and he played it well today. So, I was excited about that. All right, Coach. Thank you very much for your time. Thank I you, appreciate guys. it. Tim, I see you. <laughs>